Eagle proud symbol of our country Keep on flying high up above And together we will stand And we'll restore the land Oh Eagle Keep on flying Eagle Welcome to Listen Eagle Live in Jackson, Mississippi at the beautiful Mississippi Farm Bureau Federation building in the Reeves Metal Studio. The toll-free number here is 1-800-251-5891. Pound 444, if you're a ceasefire customer inspired like we are, we're going to be talking turkey hunting. Uh, Bert, you got a great guest calling in tonight, I understand. Hola. It is good to be back on Listen to the Eagle with you. And, uh, yes, we do. We've got two really good guests tonight. We're going to kind of cover two different uh, areas of hunting and two very unique what I call hunting quest. We've got Dr. Clay Johnson from down in the Scenic Rivers region. Down there where I grew up and you grew up, uh, the beautiful Scenic Rivers region, Dr. Clay Johnson, who has been on our show for the last two years, but but we'll kind of frame this for in case you don't know what he's doing. He's actually on a quest to harvest a turkey in 49 states. And the reason it's not 50 states is because Alaska doesn't have a turkey. Yeah, And then at the top of the hour, after we get through with uh, enjoying and, and catching up and kind of getting with, with Dr. Clay, we're going to move to a gentleman named Jim Holcomb, who's got a unique quest, where he is trying to harvest a deer, Paul Lott, from every management area in the state of Alabama. And I thought that that would be relevant because maybe – somebody would want to have that quest in the state of Mississippi. So anyway, we're going to get a lot of information about the management areas from Jim Holcomb when he comes on at the bottom. Okay. Well, I see Clay is on the line. If you want to go ahead and bring him on, Bert. Absolutely. Dr. Clay Johnson, welcome to Listen to the Eagle, brother. Thank you, Bert. Good good to be on. Paul Light, before we get into to everything, the quest that Clay's doing, I have to share this. So I'll, I'll forever be indebted to Clay because last year, about a year ago at this time, Clay, uh, that's right. You, uh, you, you let Cade, my, my son, and, and myself come stay with you at your home with your wonderful and beautiful family. And you put Cade on a turkey, and he got his first harvest all because of you and uh, – Clay, I just I can't thank you enough. What a wonderful weekend that was, and that whole event too for down there in the Scenic Rivers region where you had uh, Michael Waddell in the Bone Collector, and that was just a fun weekend, wasn't it? Absolutely, uh, it, it really was. We were uh, it, it was a blessing to me to have you and Kate uh, to come in and, and stay with us, and, and uh, it was uh, obviously very very special for me to uh, help Kate get his first first turkey as well that's uh you know you'll never have another first and to be a part of that uh it's, it's a true blessing so i appreciate you giving me that opportunity uh, i think that's the first well, i think that's the first of anything he ever got in it bert it is paul Lott, it is and and i'm telling you it was to see his face and to see his body start shaking and the excitement was something i'll never forget but to add to that something that, that some of our listeners may or may not know. So that afternoon, even after he harvested the turkey, Clay took us out to some more land down in the Scenic Rivers region, and it was some of the coolest stuff, Paul. Like Clay sat there and would call these turkeys, and, and we weren't hunting. We, we were just viewing and watching the art of Clay and his call and watching these birds strut and gobble and come right, I mean, with almost within reach was uh, pretty amazing. Well, Clay, do you do you call them up, uh, do you scout the day before, or you just pretty much know where they are, Clay? No, that's right. I actually start, start scouting them about January the 1st every year. Uh, pretty much every weekend, I'm going to be in the woods, uh, checking and looking for sign and, and looking for birds, obviously, but you know, don't get me wrong, I, I am very blessed to to hunt from from my own places and and uh, neighbors places and and so you you do have a pretty good idea of, of uh, you know where the turkeys are going to be located at but at the same time it, it just you can't beat that uh, that information of being out there in the woods every weekend to, to know what what 
what the, what's going on with them at this point. So. Well, Clay, let's let's segue for our listeners, and I know you've been on with us now for the last two years, and actually I want you to update our listeners. But if you don't mind, one more time for, for maybe some listeners that are just joining us or riding down the highway tonight, can you kind of share with them your quest that you've on that you're on, how long ago it started, and kind of then then we'll take it from there. And if we have to go to break, we'll come back and then update everybody where you are now. Absolutely. Yeah, it started back in probably the late nineties. Um, started traveling out out of state, uh, going to Texas with some friends and Missouri and, and Alabama as well. And you know, uh, most turkey hunters once. Once you hunt a little bit, you kind of get that itch and want to complete a, a grand slam, which is killing the four different subspecies of the wild turkey in the United States. And, um, and then eventually going outside the U.S. and the Mexico, getting the other two subspecies. Um, you know, it, it just kind of, I was doing the, the grand slam there for, for several years there in a row. And um, next thing you know, you know, I'd had, I don't know, 15 or so states under my belt. Uh, I had done the, the different slams, which is the Grand Slam, which is four of the subspecies, like I said, in the U.S. And, and then the five, you get one of them in Mexico is the Royal Slam. And then if you get all six, uh, that would be the completing the World Slam. And um, so once I had done that, um, it just kind of, you know, always looking for that goal or that quest and, I just said, well, you know, let's, let's, let's start trying to knock out some, some different states. So uh, it, it, it's been going on for quite a while. It certainly didn't start uh, last year or anything like that. Um, at this point, I am uh, I'm down to the, my final eight. And um, now these are the ones that's kind of getting crunch time. I just found out actually Friday that I've gotten drawn for the state of Nevada. All right. Uh, it's took three years to finally draw a tag there and uh, I've, I've had someone that again a connection that I can hunt with out there uh, just just getting that certain tag and they only allow one non-resident tag for that particular unit in Nevada uh, so it, it is going to get down there getting closer and closer and and uh, looking forward to this spring that's for sure so I, I'm, I'm curious how you got started and how long ago with this uh, process. I, like I said, I think it was probably in the, really the late 90s, uh, 98, 99 there, that I first started going out of state. Then um, I finished my first Grand Slam in 01, uh, finished my, my first Royal Slam in 03, and then I finished my first World Slam in 05. And so shortly after that, I, I can't really just pinpoint, you know, this is when it, I really started from for additional states. It just got to where me and some of my hunt friends were always going to a new place for a new challenge, you know. And um, first thing you know, like I said, I had 15 or 20 states under my belt, and then it just, the quest was on me at that point in time. Well, then is, uh, I've been trying. I'm sorry. Is it all springtime, pretty much springtime? Uh, for the most part, yes, sir. I did, uh, in the state of North Dakota, a non-resident in not hunt on private or public land in the spring yeah we got um, a we got a hard break hang on with me clay we got a hard break we'll be back in about 10 seconds we're in the yes, reeds sir. metal studio we're talking to clay johnson who's going to get a turkey in every state except alaska y'all stay with us 1-800-251-5891 we got bird out we'll be right back Paul Ott's The Day of the Lord CD-DVD combo set is our free gift to you and your family. The Day of the Lord includes songs like I Am That I Am, Don't Cry For Me, They Could Not Stop His Love, as well as special sermons by Tom Lester, Dr. Larry LeBlanc, and others. Paul's special holy visits and the printed Don't Cry For Me poster are also included. This special combo is yours free with a $10 shipping and handling fee payable to New Day of the Lord Ministries Foundation, Summit, Mississippi. Welcome back. Listen to The Equal, your live call-in radio show on hunting, fishing, God, family, and country. Burdock Caruth here, coming to you right beside Paul Ott, the host 
of listening to the Eagle. In the Reeds Metal Studio, we're talking to Dr. Clay Johnson, who's from Brookhaven, Mississippi, and grew up with me down in that scenic rivers region, that beautiful region, and some unbelievable hunting. We're, we're kind of updating. Clay shared with us and framed his quest, where he is on a quest to harvest a turkey in all 49 states. And the reason it's not 50 states is because that's, Alaska does not have one. And, and Clay, uh, everything you've shared with us, you, you did say you're down to crunch time now. And I know you mentioned Nevada, uh, but but kind of tell us, you, you, I believe I heard you correctly, you're down to eight states now. Can you kind of update everybody and, and listen to the eagle of what those eight states are and kind of what's your game plan moving forward? Yeah. Um, basically, I'm down to, I, I like Nevada out west, which, uh, again, as I told you, I, I had, um, I got drawn after three years, and, and I'm lining that up pretty much as we speak over the weekend. Uh, the, the gentleman's going to let me hunt on his place out there. I actually still like uh, right here at home, Louisiana and Arkansas. And uh, Arkansas, I've just just uh, made a connection that I'm going hunting in, in Arkansas this spring. I'm looking forward to that, meeting some some new new hunting uh, friends. Um, in the Northeast is kind of where it's really uh, making that connection. It's getting down to the to the nitty gritty. Basically, I like Ohio, Maryland, Delaware, Connecticut, and Rhode Island. I uh, I have a gentleman in Ohio that's going to allow me to hunt on his on his property this spring. Um, but now, as far as those other four states there uh, in the Northeast, Maryland, Delaware, Connecticut, and Rhode Island, right now I'm kind of uh, just kind of looking and searching. Um, you know, well, so so with that said, if you're out there tonight, or in part of our radio audience, or you're part of the TV audience, and you have a connection for Clay. To finish this quest and to finish it strong in Rhode Island, was it Maryland, and what's the other two? Delaware, Connecticut, those four are the primary okay. ones if, I'm if looking you, for. If you can help us, call 1-800-251-5891. That's 1-800-251-5891. If, if you don't want to be on the air, share it with GMI producer or just leave it on the message, a connection, and we'll get you in touch with Dr. Clay Johnson to help him finish his quest. Man, that'd be great, Bert. How long do you think it's going to take, Clay? Well, once I uh, when I started this, like I said, a few years back, I, I try for at least three or four new states uh, a year because uh, I still have my faithful states that I go back and hunt with friends like Florida and Texas and, and South Dakota. I mean, that those are pretty much a given. Um, if I could... If I could get another four this year, I would really look at really trying to close the, close the deal next spring. Uh, that'd be 2018. Now do, you, um, do you mount? Do you mount every one of those turkey? No, sir. I do. Uh, I do keep a record of of the birds that I do take. Uh, I know what their beard length, their their spur lengths are, where they were taken at, what day they were taken on, uh, of all the ones that I have taken. Uh, as far as the ones that I've, I've mounted, uh, I do have the the world, the six, the make up the world slam, the six different subspecies. I do have those mounted, as well as a couple other special turkeys that, uh, that I've killed this year. Well, we've got a call in for the Mississippi Wild Turkey Federation, Jody and uh, McDermott, to try to call in next Monday because turkey season. Have you have you heard any turkey uh, uh, yet, Danny? I have not at this point. Uh, I, I know there. They, I've heard several. Several of my patients have said something about them strutting and gobbling. Had a had a young man in this afternoon. He told me he heard one gobbling. Uh, uh, I think over the weekend in, in the evening time. Uh, with this weather that we've been having, I, I'm sure they are starting to really, really crank it up here for too long. Uh, probably a little bit earlier than than normal. But uh, yeah, it, it's it's definitely close. It's real close. Absolutely. Dr. Clay Johnson on a quest to harvest a turkey in 49 states. If you can help him, please call us. Leave a message, 1-800-251-5891. That's 1-800-251-5891. Or you can email Paul Ott 
at listen to the eagle.com. We're in the Reeds Metal Studio, y'all, and we will take your call, but when we come back, it'll be Bert, and then uh, we'll talk to uh, Dwight, and then we'll put Bert with Jim Holcomb over in Alabama. Hello, my name's Michael Gandy, and I've been privileged to know a fellow by the name of Paul Ott Holland Peru since 1958. He has quite a story to tell, and it's available now on Amazon and Barnes & Noble as an ebook. Listen to The Eagle, The Lives of Paul Ott. All funds will benefit Talking Book Services of Mississippi, your blind friends and neighbors. The audiobook version is coming in June. Welcome back to Listen Eagle Live in Jackson, Mississippi. It's a beautiful Mississippi Farm Bureau Federation building in the Reeds Metal Studio. We got Bert Ott Carruth with Jim Holcomb. All right, now, Bert, I can't decide. I'm getting texts and tweets if I sound like Clint Eastwood or Bear Bryant. <laughs> oh, what you uh, But well, I got the allergies. a combination of both. Yeah, well, that ought to work pretty good. Okay, Bert, I'm going to turn it over to you in the state of Alabama here. Yeah, let's bring on Jim. Hello, guys. Welcome. Jim, welcome to Listen to the Eagle. Hey, Bert, how are you doing, buddy? Doing wonderful, Jim Holcomb. So about a year ago, we, we had you on the Listen to the Eagle Alabama show, and, and your quest was so unique, and, and your homework you had done on the management areas throughout the state of Alabama and kind of what you brought to the show, I thought was very interesting. And, and tonight, the first half of the show, we had Dr. Clay Johnson on, who's on a quest to harvest a turkey in all 49 states across the United States. And I wanted you, if you don't mind, kind of share and, and recap what we talked about a year ago of everything that you found out about management areas and your quest. So maybe it can also relate to somebody to maybe kickstart doing this in the state of Mississippi. Yeah, Bert, I, like I said, I appreciate you guys having me on this evening um you know last year when we talked i had been about three years into to working on this this deal trying to um put together uh taking a deer in, in every uh wildlife management area that we've got in alabama um which you know there's 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 around 33 wildlife management areas that you can actually um hunt in in the state 27 of them or gun, archery, um, muzzle loader, that kind of thing, and there's six of them that are that are archery only. Which uh, I I do a little bit of archery hunting, but very little. Not real good at that yeah, that's, at this moment. That, to get adds, the gun that adds a little them. bit. To, that adds a little bit to your quest. It really does. I mean, if I if I if I'm able to do that in the early season of both season, that's great. Uh, I, I haven't been able to do that yet, but. Um, you know, we, we talked about the, that, you know, the state, and I don't know how it compares to Mississippi. I know Mississippi's got some great hunting over there. I'd, I'd really love to do some hunting there at some time in my life. But uh, there's plenty here in Alabama, you know, over 650,000 some odd acres of, of public hunting land. Um, did you hear that, that Paul? Well, I, I really did. In fact, 600, we were up. 650,000 acres. Yeah, we were up there this past summer for baseball in north uh, west Alabama at that big management area. And I tell you, we absolutely got we got lost hunting the coon dog funeral <laughs> thing up there. Did you hunt that area? We like not got out of there. What part was that? The was that a, a national forest area? Yeah, it or, was. Wow. It's where the coon dog burial ground is up there. That's that's Bankhead National Forest. Let me tell you what. Uh, if you don't have a compass or or some type of GPS, uh, you're gonna get lost up in those those woods. I can tell you. All I could it, say was Alabama, Alabama of flags, University of Alabama, and I was following them out of there. <laughs> I heard that. Yeah, it's it's tough up there, and, and, and like coon hunting at night. I tell you, it's, that's a that's another whole uh, ball game of hunting right there. It's it's very difficult. Uh, well, but Jim, you know something we covered something that we covered last year and i think it's a very good point you know you're talking about in the state of alabama and again maybe we can get some information on mississippi but over 650,000 acres and unlike private land you really don't get the the luxury 
of going out and doing your homework and scouting and putting up game cameras in these management areas. So that's another element that adds to your quest. Right. I mean, it's. Uh, I don't want to take anything away from any uh, hunting clubs or anything like that. They're great. Uh, there's a, there's people that can afford them. There's people that can't afford them. Uh, a lot of your younger right. people that uh, are getting into hunting these days, uh, you know, they can't afford to go out and pay that big money for a hunting club. But it it really does. I tell you, I've had a lot of friends this year that that I go with, and, and we it's. It, it, we have a blast, let me tell you, first of all, because we find spots. Um, you know, each management area only has maybe six hunts a year that you can go on. And so I'm trying to chase the rut. You know, different counties like the the uh, area that, you, that Mr. Paul was talking about, up north, their rut starts in uh, early November. Those deer were put in there way back, I don't know, 40s, 20s, or 40s, of, they're, they're from Michigan, they're Michigan deer. So I'm chasing a rut in all these different management areas because, uh, one, that's a, a an easier time to, to catch those bucks off guard. Um, but, um, you know, it, it does. It's a difficult way to hunt. You're, you're going in blind. The deer that you're hunting, some of them, most of them, haven't even seen a, a car or a human. So um and it's not that i'm going for big huge deer i'm a i'm a meat eater i love to provide for my family put meat in the freezer and uh if the if the antlers the big antlers come with it that's great you know you gotta take a break hang on with me jim we'll be right back after this break Paul Ott's The Day of the Lord CD-DVD combo set is our free gift to you and your family. The Day of the Lord includes songs like I Am That I Am, Don't Cry For Me, They Could Not Stop His Love, as well as special sermons by Tom Lester, Dr. Larry LeBlanc, and others. Paul's special holy visits in the printed Don't Cry For Me poster are also included. This special combo is yours free with a $10 shipping and handling fee payable to New Day of the Lord Ministries Foundation, Summit, Mississippi. Welcome back to Listen to the Eagle, your live calling radio show on hunting, fishing, God, family, and country. Burdock Carruth, alongside Paul Lott, coming to you from the Reeds Metal Studio right there in beautiful Jackson, Mississippi. You want to be a part of the show? 1-800-251-5891. Tonight, we've got Jim Holcomb on from the state of Alabama, who has a quest to harvest a deer in every management area across the state of Alabama. Now, Jim, you stated it earlier, but if you don't mind, share with us again how many management areas there are and where are you on your quest? What's what's the latest status? Well, now, Jim, before you do that, I just got a text that says Bigfoot's in that area up there by that hound dog funeral place. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't doubt that either, Mr. Paul, at uh, all. Okay. <laughs> well, I tell you, there, like I say, there's 30... There's uh, 33 management areas, wildlife management areas, uh, and uh, four of those are in forest. You know, we got four national forests in Alabama, so four of those are in those within those forest areas. But you know, I'm gonna tell you, Bert, it it was really hard this past year uh, with the drought we had. At least I'm gonna blame it on that. I don't think the deer right. really care. But um, you know, last year it was that I had. I had taken I, I I added one management area to my to my quest this year, um, which I know it's not saying a lot, but it's a real it, you know when I when I started this line I knew it was going to be difficult may never make it in my lifetime but uh, it's it's definitely a fun thing to 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 go after uh, the camaraderie with your friends your family that you go out there with I'm telling you it's just it's it's nothing but a blast but um, you know. I'm going to keep going and, and try to hit all these management areas. Uh, you go in, in blind, and it, it's a, it is difficult. So, Bert, we've got about a minute, so I'm going to let you tell Jim goodbye and say your thing, and I'll say my thing, and we'll be done for the night. Yep, Jim Holcomb, thank you so much for being a part of Listen to the Eagles, sharing your quest with the state of Mississippi. Man, I appreciate you guys having me from Alabama. I really do. We miss you guys over here. Um, and we're listening to you, man. I, I really do appreciate you guys. Thank you, Mr. Paul. Thank you, brother. Love you. Go ahead, Bert. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Yeah.
What, what a great night, Paul, out with Dr. Clay Johnson and with Jim Holcomb on two of the most unique hunting quests that you'll hear about probably throughout uh, anybody's hunting career. But if you don't remember anything else tonight, remember this. If you do things your way, you will get your results, some good, some bad. But if you'll stop and pray, you'll get his results. And those who wait for the Lord will renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I love you, Bert, and I'll see you next Monday. We'll talk more turkey. Gobble, gobble, gobble. See y'all on TV.